Welcome back to the channel, guys. And the day has finally come. I finally have a Monta watch to show you. And we're gonna do a quick unboxing, giving you my first impressions. And then later on, I'm gonna give you a full review because I actually bought this watch for myself. So I'm gonna be able to give you all the details and all the pros and cons of the watch. But for now, let's skip the talking and head straight to the table for the unboxing. Okay guys, this is a huge, huge box. So I'm really excited to show you what we have in here. And I'm actually really excited to see for myself what we have in here. I know what, what it is, obviously, but I don't know what it looks like. I, I know what it looks like, but I don't know how it feels like because I've never tried out a Monta watch before. Today I'm wearing the Seiko um, Safarni as it's called I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna show you I actually already filmed the unboxing of this one I just uh, chose to put this one on the video on the channel first because I'm really excited for this one but uh, I'm gonna show you the unboxing for the Safarni as well just not today so let's unbox this huge huge box uh, and uh, Monta watches I've actually uh, looked at them for a while now I really like uh, the design language and everything um, the looks and everything the specs and uh, but I I didn't want to buy one new because they're actually quite often sold out and this is actually not the model that I was looking for but it's uh, a close second and um, I got it at a really good price pre-owned uh, because they're all sold out on the website and uh, it's actually limited to 500 pieces so uh, uh, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna enjoy this unboxing I hope you enjoy it as well let me just tilt the camera a little bit there we go okay here we have the outside box is actually a cardboard box with Monta written on it let's open it up see what we have here I actually haven't seen any unboxings of this watch before so this is new to me which is actually quite refreshing oh, nice little wooden box or wood it looks like wood at least and then we have some plastic in there this looks really nice we have a lacquered finish uh, it might be plastic I'm guessing it's not actual wood and we have a soft under uh, side there okay let's open it up oh nice presentation there we have the watch and as you might see already we have three hands so it's a GMT and it's actually called the SkyQuest but let's see what we have in here we have a travel pouch with Monza written on it and inside the travel pouch we have the warranty card yeah two years warranty uh, this is for the travel pouch uh, yeah two years warranty warranty card good yeah I'm gonna just put it, put it to the side to speed up the unboxing and take care of it later we have an extra strap in here it's a uh, NATO uh, uh, Monta NATO I guess but there is actually no markings on the hardware no Monta markings anywhere so I'm not sure if this is a genuine Monta NATO or what but I'm gonna know in the full video and then on the left side here we have the actual watch really nice looking box nice presentation with this uh, letter thing protruding from the actual box it's like a yeah it's really cool and then we have an instructions manual right here Monta, 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 Monta to wind it, Monta watch, yeah. Okay, let's head straight to the watch. Oh, and it's really tight in there, Ugh. resting on a pillow. Good job on the packaging, uh, my friend. Uh, I bought this from a, a group member in Sweden. His name is Oscar. Thank you, Oscar, for the really fast delivery and for the excellent packaging. 
and for their excellent watch here it is the monta sky quest and uh, this clasp is one of the reasons that i bought the watch in the first place but let's open it up and take a closer look take the pill out of the way this is it the monta sky quest in black i really wanted to buy the monta sky quest with the Pepsi bezel insert and with the gilt hour uh, indices and with the gilt bezel insert details but that's uh, sold out as is this one and that's I think it's really hard to get because I actually joined the Monta Facebook group and asked around if uh, if it's possible to get one of those and uh, they said that yeah it's nearly impossible there's like two of them sold in a year or something so it's uh, it's a hard to get watch and I knew that Oscar had this watch because he actually posted it in our group that he had bought it and I really thought it was a beautiful watch a close second to that Pepsi uh, version and I just asked him I shot him a mail asking him if he wanted to sell it and he actually did so I got it at a really good price and it is a stunning stunning watch and actually in excellent condition as you can see it's all polished on the side uh, we have some brushed details on the top the bracelet is all brushed on the front here we have some polished details on the sides there on the bracelet it's a screw down bracelet as you can see screws in there uh, we have the GMT hand it's a really cool GMT hand because it actually uh, as you can see the indices actually uh, they're quite substantial the hour markers so the GMT hand is actually the hand that is uh, farthest down on the watch of the three hands so it's quite flush with the dial but just at the tip it actually protrudes up so it can pass those hour markers that's a really nifty little detail and then uh, let us screw it let's unscrew the so you can see the action here as you can see at the uh, at the nine o'clock indice there if the GMT hand passes it it actually goes right above it so it can clear that indice and uh, when the hour hand catches up with the GMT hand let us do that it actually goes above it as you can see there really nice attention to detail and uh, let's see feel it's buttery buttery smooth to give it some action there yeah easy to operate the crown and actually the crown is uh, I don't know if it's called concave as you can see it's a little more uh, it, it protrudes it I, I think the word is concave it's not all the same size it's a little smaller on the inside and it goes out and becomes bigger uh, looking good feeling good and looking good let me just screw that back in there we have it it's a signed crown let's take a look at the back of the watch we have an open case back monta 304 meters of water resistance that's a new one swiss made and this is also made in a limited edition it's 500 made and this is number 161 as you can see there we have uh, you see the rotor is uh, actually uh, custom made with the monta logo or at least it's branded and then we have something ticking away inside of this watch i really don't know what the movement is because i really didn't read up on that detail but i guess it's an eta or something like that we're gonna go through all of those details in the full video let's take a look at the bezel action yeah feels good really solid no movement at all i think it is uh it has to be yeah it's a bi-directional bezel and it is one two three four five six it's a maybe a 90 click bezel date at the six o'clock beautifully framed Swiss made 
yeah it's gonna be a pleasure to uh, wear this watch for a while and then give you my full rundown in a video uh, further ahead in the future let's put it down let's take it on try it on <sighs> if you want to share this moment with me uh, there it goes let's see if we have the same wrist size yeah actually we we might have Oscar my wrists are 20 centimeters and it actually it's a little little tight but uh, it's a little damp in the air a little hot today so maybe it's the perfect size anyway look at it it's just beautiful something with that black and white with black and white watches and with the colors of my tattoos that actually make them look great in my humble opinion and that beautiful red GMT hand just popping out looking at you and the red text with the sky quest I know we have a lot of uh, I, I don't have my umbrellas when I'm shooting this unboxing but I was just so excited so I couldn't even set up the shot really well so I'm sorry for the reflections you get from the clouds up here uh, it's actually a pitch black watch I think we have a really nice AR coating on this one on the inside just putting up my hand there so you can see it perfectly uh, so I'm sorry for the reflections but it's a it's an improvised video and uh, in the next video in the full video I'm gonna give you all the nice shots anyway this was the unboxing I did it as fast as I could and as usual as I always tell you guys in my videos if you like the video please give me a thumbs up and if you really liked it I mean like loved it and if you like to see more please consider subscribing and if you didn't like it give me a thumbs down tell me what you didn't like and I'm tried I'm gonna try my best to do better in the next one I have a lot of videos coming up my friends I have uh, the review of the month of course I have the uh, Safarni unboxing and review since this is also my watch I bought it for myself I have a San Martin uh, tuna look-alike watch coming up I have four or maybe five four I think five new Phoebus watches because when I did my huge Phoebus unboxing I actually had to order four of their new watches because I, I just got hooked and they have some really nice models coming out like the uh, Malachite Voyager the new one that dial is stunning and uh, the Kraken and the I forget the name of the last one the Kraken and the uh, it's uh, yeah never mind a bunch of watches coming out a giveaway coming up you can actually win a Casio from the channel I'm really glad for your support I'm really glad that we reached over 4,000 subscribers now and I'm gonna show my gratitude by uh, with a giveaway anyway the Monta Sky Quest what did you think do you like it do you think it's too busy give me a comment tell me what you like and I hope to see you in the next video bye bye my friends have a really nice weekend bye